Are you going to the meeting, George? How did you know my name? I know everything about you, George. I'm Acton's guardian angel, Clarence Oddbody. Angel, second class. So you going to the meeting? Not a chance. I'm tired of those meetings. They never make a difference. I remember years ago we were trying to plan a new Kelly's Corner. Yes. Everyone was so excited. Yes. And nothing happened. We'd be better off if we just never even had those meetings. <gasps> Don't say that, George. Don't say that. Very important things happen. Oh, but that's an idea, George. Yes. Yes. Very well, George. You've got your wish. What's this? This is the future of Acton after those planning meetings didn't happen. A lot of important things didn't happen without those meetings. Yeah? Like what? Like sidewalks and safe spaces for people to walk and bike. Oh, she can't see you, George. You're seeing Acton's future. Years ago, citizens didn't vote to spend the budget to maintain sidewalks. And they didn't take the time to create a vision for Acton. It resulted in a sense of community and created safe spaces and welcoming neighborhoods for people to walk and bike. This is awful. That's really dangerous. Don't you see, George? The things you could have done at those meetings really were important. This is crazy. Oh, there are things that have happened that are far worse than this, George. Far worse. What? What is that? That's what you got when nobody was planning, George. And now it's bursting at the seams. Jeez, it's so... How could something like this happen? And there's more that never happened, George. Like historic preservation and economic development. What happened? There were so many plans for West Acton Village. Economic redevelopment, new businesses moving in, the buy local shopping campaign, the farmer's market. What happened to all of that? George, many of the discussions that would have advanced those plans happened at the Acton 2020 meeting the one you don't want to attend. Those plans never happened because you weren't there to make them. And no one else was either, George. So the buy local campaign never happened and the shop owners went out of business. I can't believe this. This is awful. Acton had so much potential. Yes. We were listed in the top 20 small towns of America for Pete's sake. Yes, but George, this is not the worst of it. No, 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 don't show me anymore. Oh. I, I can't take any more of this. Not seeing is not an option, George. This is your future. You chose it by not participating. This isn't possible. We have bylaws restricting the size of commercial buildings to 40,000 square feet. This could never be built. You had those bylaws, George, but they were changed years ago at town meeting. Not enough citizens participated in protecting Acton's open space and recreation areas. And when you don't participate, this is what you get. This is impossible. This can't be. No! Yes, I do want to participate. I do want to help in our town's future. Of course you do, George. Come on, the meeting's in here. I love our town so much because we because I love our schools and our restaurants and the people here and it's just a very wonderful place to be here. And I think that one of the main reasons why people come here is because of the wonderful schools we have here. 1979 I moved out here, uh, which was coming up on to 32 years. I had three teenage daughters at the time and I wanted to find a place where they had an excellent school system and Acton was the place. What I'd like Acton to have is some place in the, in the relatively center of the town where people could assemble on a warm evening and have music and fun and like I experienced in, in Davis Square last night. Acton is a wonderful town, but it needs a town center. Uh, the most logical place is Kelly's Corner. I like that everyone in Acton is really nice and accepting of others and I feel really safe in this town like when I go to school and uh, walking around town with my friends. I like how um, West Acton has like a village feel like everything's like connected and there's like a library and 
um, barber shop and a bank, and it's like a community. It's my hope for the future of Acton that that community spirit remains and that we continue to invest in our community in creative and sustainable and intelligent ways. Thank you.